Hey guys, and today I'm going to be talking about my torch euphilia coral, well my new torch coral. So I'm going to be going through where I got it, when I got it, what, um, what, how much it was, and then I'm going to go through a couple tips that I know about the coral already. Uh, this is without doing any research yet. I did do a little bit before, like, you know, anything big warning signs I had to be uh, careful of. So yeah, let's get started. So it's a little close up of it, what I got right now. So where, where I got it, I got it from All Things Aquatic. It's about 30 minutes away from where I am. So it's the best local fish. It's, a, it's probably my favorite fish shop, uh, like lo locally. Um, no, well, overall favorite one. Um, he's always got like some nice stuff in there. Um, after he's got loads of LPS, which is what I'm after. So I got it from him about six days ago. Yeah, six days ago exactly. Actually, so it hasn't been in there long. So it's been settling in nicely. It's survived, which is good. So I'm no. I know that I can happily keep um, uh, LPS corals. So I got two pieces in there. This torch coral and the Duncan coral. I'll be going through later on. But yeah, it's doing great, amazingly. Um. Yeah, so six days ago, all things aquatic, and it was about 40 quid. So, yeah, expensive to my other corals that I got in there. But, you know, definitely worth it. I mean, literally all the other corals I got in there were t a tenner. Literally, all of them tenner. So this is the sh a, shot, a shot that I got with uh, the lens, or the coral lens that I did in my last video. There'll be a link in the description to that video. And with the blues on, because it, the coral lens only works in kind of bluish bluish lights depending on kind of what kind of what shade of blue you got in there but yeah 40 quids is quite a bit definitely worth it for that's for one head one frag of it but it's definitely nice in in trust me in the flesh this looks a lot better i mean on the tips is they're a lot more green and the kind of trunky bits are like purpley brown and yeah it's just really nice i'm really happy i'm really chuffed with it so a couple tips you want to look out for with keeping these corals um, in a couple of weeks or so. Well, the next video is going to be my six six month update. So stay tuned for that. That'll be in the next week. Next week. So I'm really happy for. Can't wait to be filming that. Six months. So yeah, I might be doing in upcoming weeks. I might be doing a care guide video of this. I'm not really too sure yet. But yeah, one thing to look out for is uh, stinging tentacles. The all LPS corals release. And it's just to protect their area, uh, like to make sure no corals are trying to kill them or like grow onto them. And yeah, just be wary of how close you're, you're keeping it to other corals because it can sting them. And it is, it's a euphilia and it's a torch coral, so it is quite slow growing, which is good. It's what I want. It's, I'm going to move it a little bit lower down to the kind of fish's home because they might host it. But if they start to annoy it, then I'll just move it back up to where it is. But it seems to not be stinging the GSP. Well, the GSP looks uh, nice and happy, which is good. So, yeah, I'm really happy. It's a um, slow-growing coral, so I don't really know how slow, but yeah. So now I'm going to be showing you, since I'm, that's pretty much it on the Euphilia, not really much to say about that. I will be going into more detail soon. So I'm going to be going through my other corals now. So here's the Australian Duncan. You can see around the room there, the... Um, uh, if you look really closely, you can see a tiny, especially on there, you can see a little tip coming out the side there. That's a new head. You can actually see tiny little strings if you look really, well, you can't really see it on the camera, but um, in real life, you, if you look really closely, you can see that that's grown new heads. So that's been really happy. The pulsing Xenia um, fragging pieces off. The frag the frags that I made weren't really doing great. They kind of flew, up, flew around, so I didn't really get to selling any of those off but um i put some rocks around the edge and they should be going to my local fish shop um maybe tomorrow or whenever i get a chance to uh, go up there so this is my green star polyps in about a few months or so that'll be all over the back wall which is good because it is growing quite rapidly it's already starting on the back wall there's a mat side on the back wall lit really small only just started but yeah in the up upcoming months i'll be f starting to frag that off Sadden that off for a five or a frag. Um, or maybe in colonies, not, not really too sure, but that's doing great. The Zoanthids are also doing amazingly. This the Ring of Fire, new heads. Um, Lava Ice, I'm not really seeing some new heads on there, but it has been all over the tank recently. Well, past couple of weeks, it's had a rough 
couple of months, so I don't blame it. There's the Dragon Eyes, quite shot in at the moment because I was flowing, playing around with the flow for the video. And this is the Jungle Juice one you can see on the far right there. It's a tiny little head just starting, which is really good. Can't, I can't believe I can actually get, I can get growth of, of these things. Some people kind of struggle with these. So that's all my corals. I haven't got much in there, but they'll, trust me, there will be more. Um, you know, week after, well, not week after week, like every couple of weeks or something. See what I'm after. The big thing I'm after right now is either a hammer coral. I need to look into those properly because I'm not 100% 100 sure on their care guide thing, like their, how easy they are to keep. And uh, a really bright yellowy green uh candy cane coral so they look they'll look really good in the center of the tank um so yeah i guess that'll do it for this video in the upcoming weeks i will be uh getting some new corals you know some wall corals and all that um but ne yeah next week will be the uh the update so yeah bye